Very nice. You wanted to talk, Monica? This is an interesting choice of location. I hear you've been going above and beyond lately. That you perform miracles each time you set foot on the battlefield. Why are you complimenting me all of a sudden? I mean, things have been going well, but... Oh, I assure you, I have no ulterior motive. You've helped me out a great deal too, after all. Even Her Majesty praises your fine work. She talks about you so much, in fact, I'm more than a little sick of hearing your name. Huh, she talks about me that much? Wait a sec. You aren't jealous, are you? Nah, that wouldn't make any sense. Indeed it wouldn't. Why in the world would I be jealous of you? After all, you are merely Her Majesty's subordinate. Your relationship will never transcend the bounds of master and servant. It will never reach the depths of meaning that Her Majesty and I share. So you are jealous. In what way? I am merely telling you the truth as I see it. It never even crossed my mind how irritatingly close you and Her Majesty are. Not once. Uh... Yeah, you basically just admitted it. I certainly did not. You did. You said you were jealous that Edelgard and I are so close. The word jealous never traversed my lips. You sure you're not, though? Perhaps... a little. That's what I thought. But so what if I am? I have always been Her Majesty's most devoted admirer. Hubert is one thing, but you... You're just a run-of-the-mill mercenary. To think Her Majesty has uttered your name more times than she has mine, it makes me want to scream my lungs out! You've been counting? Look, I probably come up a lot because we've been fighting together so much. Don't worry, Monica. Things will turn around once the war is over. Aww. Being consoled by the winner only makes me feel even more like a loser. I can't believe it has come to this. I have no other choice but to ask for your help. Uh, what's come to what now? I will just have to show you. Come on, let's go. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Construction comes at a high price.
Don't neglect your daily studies. Now see here. social activities planned out. if we dry it out. I'm pretty good at riding horses, and I should be. I didn't have a choice but to learn when I was a kid. tomorrow if we all decided to just stay home with the door shut. for a while.
only you would ask the Emperor out on an excursion. What? Me? Very well. I rarely go riding, but find it to be quite liberating. Oh, what a lovely flower. Still, perhaps it would have been best to leave it be. Though I don't see them, I know Hubert's people are out there somewhere, watching us. Well done. What are you thinking about? You look as if your mind is a dozen leagues away. Right. The sun is so warm on my skin. I see why people pine for it so. How nice. Back to work, then. You and I both have a mountain of things to do, after all. Well, how'd it go? Any result's a good result. Hunger is the true enemy. Yeah, the flavor's not really there. I'm glad it is not just you and me alone, Your Majesty. Or else I would be reduced to a blubbering idiot. Well, I'm certainly glad we avoided that. Although, does that mean you're a blubbering idiot all the other times we're alone? Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Yeah, the flavors. Oh, yes. This is definitely one of the foods I love. Really? For me? Um, thanks.
Come back whenever you're hungry. An opera company smack dab in the middle of the Imperial capital, huh? I can't even begin to imagine what that must be like. I mean, I've been all over the place for my mercenary work, but it's mostly just been for small-time rural lords and the like. Honestly, I'd never even met anyone from the big cities like Enbar or Ferdiad before coming to Garrig Mach. Even after I ended up in the capital, all the glitz and glamour made me feel almost like I was living someone else's life instead of my own. You know, shows in the capital are about a thousand times flashier than the little town festival shows you might be used to. Every important moment of the drama is conveyed through elaborate song, and at the center of the musical ensemble stands its star, the diva. I think I get the idea. These divas sound pretty incredible. They probably get stage names and everything if they're that important, huh? Oh, but of course. I was known as the Mystical Songstress. Hey, that's pretty good. There always has been this kind of indescribable aura surrounding you. Thanks, but I have mixed feelings about the name myself. They called me that because of how suddenly a street orphan like me was discovered and debuted. Yeah, I see how there could be some complicated feelings wrapped up in that. But if you were able to rise from that to D.Va, you must have the chops to back it up. Not that I can even picture what that would sound like. Hey, do you think you could sing something for me? Uh, since you asked so nicely, but I'm only doing it this once, okay? How the crimson rain of pain it came, falling hard upon a land of flame, when the sacred blade it split the sky, until the heavens heard our cry. In the hour of vengeance, will you heed the call? On the red fields of revenge, will you help avenge? We must fight strong and stand tall. Well, what did you think? It was, uh, yeah. What, you didn't like it? Not quite the booming applause I'm used to. No, it was incredible, honest. It's just, I'm not really sure I got it, you know? I mean, the only songs I know are the ones sung by mercs in taverns or village girls as they tend the fields. You're kinda in a different league, Dorothea. Sorry, I can't really give you much more than that. Oh, don't worry about it. This sort of thing happens more often than you think. Well, as long as you're not mad. If you don't mind, though, maybe you could try again for me sometime? I'd really like to hear you sing some more. And hey, I might even get better at telling you what I thought. <laughs> sure. I suppose I can give you one more chance. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. I carry a little of everything here.
You've got an eye for quality, friend. 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 Hope to see you again soon.